integrate the secant squared of 2x minus 74. So this is actually really simple in the sense that if you have secant squared x dx by itself, you ask yourself, hey, what's a function whose derivative is secant squared? So tangent. So you just get tangent x plus c because the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So this is one of the simple ones that we tend to forget uh, when we're doing harder problems. The only thing here is that it's not just secant squared. It's secant squared of 2x minus 74. So maybe a good strategy would be to start by making a u substitution. We'll let u be equal to 2x minus 74. And then so du will simply be 2 dx. And now we don't have a 2 here in the integral, so we'll divide both sides by 2 to make it match. So these cancel, so we get 1 half du equals dx. Okay, now we're in a good place. We have dx, and that's equal to 1 half du. So this will be 1 half integral, and I'll put the du over here. And we're simply left with secant squared of u, because u is our inside piece here. And now we use our formula. We can just simply ask ourselves, what's a function whose derivative is secant squared? So tangent. So this is 1 half tangent of u plus c. The last thing to do is maybe replace u with what it actually is. So it'll be 1 half tangent of 2x minus 74 and then we have our plus capital C. And that would be the final answer. So again, you see something like this. You say, hey, wait a minute, secant squared, what's that? And then just you know, think simple. Uh, sometimes the answers are really simple. In this case, uh, that was the case. You just have to remember that to integrate secant squared, you have to take, uh, you just get tangent, right? Because the derivative of tangent is secant squared. That's it.